question. With Sterling, so because of the clandestine nature of the SAS during the Second World War, um, most of what is known about the SAS didn't start to come out until the 70s, really. Um, and it was after Maine had died, very sadly died in um, a car crash. And most of that initial, what was known about the SAS, came from a biography of Sterling. Now, depending on what you read about Sterling, he is either a, a genius that saw something that nobody else did and um, was a bit of a sort of James Bond debonair type guy on the left of arc going to the right of arc that he was a bit lazy um that he maybe had the panache to get these kind of kind of operations off the ground but didn't have the ta tactical understanding of how to to, ca to carry them out properly and that actually most of it was done by Maine and and everything in between. There are many books written now about Sterling by some excellent writers. All of them are different. All of them give a slightly different view on that scale of who, Ster Ster who Sterling was. And I think the TV show does a, does a reasonable job of threading that difficult path, which is saying that I mean, he's obviously a bit more stylish than the real Sterling. If you look at Sterling, if you look at the pictures of him and look at the interviews of him, there are some, some interviews recorded of him in the 70s, I believe. Um, he, he's got a, a, an eyebrow that goes all the way across his forehead. <laughs> he's quite gangly. His nickname was the Giant Sloth because he was quite lazy and gangly. Um, he doesn't strike you as a, a, a military guy. He's, and everything in his background suggests that he was sort of lacking a bit of direction. And his older brother, Bill Sterling, um, who not a lot of people have heard about, uh, Bill Sterling may have been the one that drove the SAS forward in its very initial stages, and that David just happened to be the person who was in charge at the time when everything kicked off because Bill Sterling got dragged back to London. Um, I don't think we'll ever know the absolute truth about who these people were, just because the kinds of people that would know are now dead, sadly. You've still got Mike Sadler, who, who is alive, but there are very few people who knew them intimately to be able to say what they were like and have written their thoughts down. There are snippets here and there. Every one of them is different. So I think the TV show does a good job of showing Sterling to be flawed, showing him to be quite flash, but actually not necessarily the best. <coughs> Sorry. When it comes on to Maine, it gets even trickier. And a lot of the discussions that we had about the TV show was the portrayal of Maine. So the, the David Maine, sorry, the um, Blair Maine you see in the TV show is a, a character. He's based on the real Maine, but he isn't Maine. Again, many different versions of who Maine was. And today you have people defending his reputation, saying that he was he was a scholar, he was a gentleman, he never swore. And then you have people on the opposite end of the scale who knew him saying he was a tactical genius, he was a leader of men, like people would follow him regardless. They knew how good he was. But when he drank, and he drank frequently, he was a different person, real Jekyll and Hyde. And he would wake up the next day not remembering anything he'd done, but be very ap apologetic about it because he knew he'd, he would have done something bad. And then what we have in the story is Maine being a bit more of a, re a rebel, a bit more of a... Another thing that, that the show sort of tweaks a bit is his background. He was from a similar kind of background of Lewis and Sterling. He was from a very middle class, upper middle class <laughs> family. In, in the show, for story reasons, to have more of a contrast with the character of Sterling, he's portrayed as coming from a slightly lower class background. So that there is that conflict. Good story comes from conflict. So they've tweaked the characters very slightly 
to make their interactions more exciting, more different. So I can understand why people would be upset and annoyed with the character of, 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 of Maine being portrayed the way that he is. Um, but it is for story reasons. Nobody sets out to make a show where you defame the people who you're, who, who you're trying to portray or trying to tell a story and you're trying to tell the best story that you can. 